Hello folks and welcome to App Screencast, Danny here. In today's video I'm going to show you a cool application for the Mac called Drop Zone. Now Drop Zone is quite a useful utility which I think you might just like. So let's get straight into the video and I'll show you what it's all about. So let me quickly show you the Drop Zone application. As you can see I've got it running in the menu bar at the top. And also I can quickly access the application by hovering my mouse over to the side of the screen and clicking on the arrow which will allow me to quickly access some of the actions within Drop Zone. So when you click on drop zone you'll actually see a few actions which you've got set up. Now I've got the Flickr upload action set up and the email action set up. So let me just show you what these do. I can take this picture and all I have to do is hover it over drop zone then drop it onto the Flickr upload and it will automatically upload it to my Flickr account. So what's great about that is it's a lot easier than going to the Flickr website logging in and manual uploading the actual picture. So I can take this text document hover it over drop zone, drag and drop it into my email client and it will automatically attach it to an email. So quite useful if you're someone who sends a lot of attachments in emails. Also what you can do within drop zone is you don't have to use the actual icon at the top, you can actually use the menu at the side and do it from there. As you can see I've uploaded the image again to Flickr. So you've got two options there, you can either use the menu icon at the top or you can use the actual controls at the side of the screen whichever you prefer. Now if we go into preferences we can actually add more actions so as you can see these are the two default ones for how it comes set up but we can add some more. If we go to actions we can choose some different actions so we can automatically upload to servers by using Amazon S3 or the FPT upload. We can also use drop zone to quickly install an application one of my favourite ones though is move files and now this allows you to be more organised. So we choose a folder, so let's go for the pictures folder, add that and we'll add another one, we'll choose move files again and we'll choose the documents folder, open that, add that one. So as you can see I've got the two actions ready, move folder action it is and if I grab my picture now, hover it over drop zone again, drop it into the pictures folder and it's been moved off to the pictures folder. You can grab this text document, move it over to drop zone, drop it into the documents folder and it's automatically sent it, sent it over really fast. So again this is quicker than going into finder and moving files that way. So if you've got if someone who's got quite a messy desktop, you're working with a lot of files and that, and you want to be more organised, then Drop Zone can be quite a useful little application. Another good action is the one which allows you to save text. So if you just go to save text, it'll ask me where I want to save the text to. So I'm going to go for documents folder again. Open it. Add it. Now if I see any text on the web, what I want to save, I can just select it all drag, drag it over drop zone and drop it into save text action so I can quickly name this and that's quickly saved the text from that website quite useful. By the way you can add any application from your Mac into drop zone so for example I just go choose application and I can look from the applications and choose one so let's go for text edit for example, we'll just add that one. So I can quickly access text edit within drop zone but also I can just drag any text files, drop it into text edit and it will open it up immediately. So that possibly could be useful to some people. Now if we go back to preferences, add another action, I can go to more actions and actually go to the drop zone website and find some more actions for drop zone. So let's do that. So there's not hundreds of um, actions to choose from, there's, there's only a few, but I'm sure there'll be more actions added throughout the year. Now you can see here we've got a TwitPic one which allows you to upload an image to TwitPic. can be quite useful if you're a Twitter user. We've got another one which is a Dropbox action which allows you to um, upload a file to Dropbox immediately to your public folder and also saves the link to your clipboard, which can be quite useful if you're a big user of Dropbox. A few other good ones is Zipfile which you can quickly create a zip file, create a DMG file, 
Make a picture of your desktop background, which is quite handy. Send a file to your iPhone using this action, which is quite cool as well. Quickly put your Mac into sleep. Convert a link into a bit.ly link. Again, quite useful for some people. So there's quite a few actions there to have a look at. Now you can get this application from the Mac App Store and it's £9.99 and definitely worth checking out. Now if it's an application you're not sure if you'd use all the time, if it would be worth buying, then you can get the trial version for 30 days from the Aptonic website. Now I'm going to leave the links in the description below so you can find it easy. Now thanks for watching this video everyone, hopefully you found it useful and enjoyable. If you did then please like and subscribe because it's much appreciated. Also if you wish you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash app screencast. So thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you later. Goodbye. Now don't worry, I've not forgot the giveaway. Now I've got one copy of Drop Zone to give away. So if you like a chance to win, you've got to be subscribed, like this video, and also comment below. If you do that, then you'll be entered into the competition. Now I'll be drawing the winner in about a week's time. So good luck with that everyone, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.